put every See, there you go. I, I am putting everything together for a very competent Friday email in your inbox. Anybody that registered for this training today, even if you didn't make it, is going to get this correspondence from me. And what that's going to include is obviously a recording of this uh, of this session. Uh, Ken, you're going to send me your deck so I can get that out as well. So you can go page by page if you need to. Yep. Uh, links, et cetera, to all of the Snap AV local uh, at Lona sites directly. Uh, but most importantly, it's there to pass on to your team. Uh, uh, usually, Ken, as we know we we do these on a wednesday uh, the dialogue is there um the pro, uh, problem solving if you will anything that we might have engaged in in this next hour uh will continue to help you through uh throughout the weekend and uh please view this thing and and pass it to your team and hey we're going to do another training in about four and a half hours from now so ken you are back for the afternoon session but in the meantime let's start up today weekly webinar series with that lona it is ken eagle i'm going to turn it on over to my buddy ken there you go Awesome. Great introduction. Thanks a lot, Gary. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, greetings and hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, portion of the LONA webinar. Uh, our topic today will be AV solutions for residential and light commercial applications. So let's get started with it. Um, again, I'm Ken Eagle, and uh, I'll be your presenter for this. Now, in this session, what we'll do is we're going to review the technology that enables things like touch-free AV. Uh, very important today. Uh, we'll also review how USB plays a key role in completing the AV solution, and I'll highlight some of Atlona's top performance video conference cameras. Then we'll wrap up by showing you how these technologies that I just discussed come together to create four key solutions that you can sell today. And as Gary mentioned, he's got these solutions in stock uh, in his uh, locations right now. And then finally, I'll share with you the brand new wireless presentation platform from Atlona called Wave. We just announced this earlier this month. This is kind of our biggest announcement, probably our biggest uh, product reveal of the year. So we'll save that one for the end. All right, let's get started. Uh, so Atlona now is proud to offer hands-free, zero user interface operation on all of our AV solutions. The idea is just simply connect it and forget it. What you do is connect your device to the system and watch the display power up and present your content. This is the simple idea behind it. From there, you just hand off to another presenter by simply disconnecting your device or just walk away and the system will automatically shut down the display. Now we accomplish this through several key technology solutions that include automatic display control, automatic input selection, the use of an occupancy sensor, wireless connectivity, and through the velocity control system, which is at Lona's own homegrown control solution. So let's break these technologies down real quickly and see how they work. And then we'll show you some examples of uh, how to put them, which products that they're in and, and how to implement them. All right, so to achieve this hands-free operation, our solutions use this feature we call automatic display control or ADC for short. This simply means you never have to touch a remote control or a device button to turn on a system. So let me show you how it works using this example right here. So when automatic display control is enabled, a user only needs to connect the source to an available input and the Atlona switch will automatically turn on the display and show the source that was just connected. Very simple. When the presentation is finished, shutting down a system is just as easy. Uh, you simply disconnect the source from a display cable and the Lona switch will automatically turn the display off. This is done through a menu setting that your installer sets in there. Uh, after you know, no live signal is detected for X amount of time, automatically shut everything off. This makes it easy for the user. They just simply disconnect, leave the room, everything turns off. Very simple automatic display control. You can find that on all of our solutions. Now, another touchless feature that is included is called automatic input selection or AIS for short. Now, this means you don't have to touch a remote control or a device button to switch sources. So let me show you how this one works. Now, in this example, presenter number one is connected and is sharing uh, their screen. Now, presenter number two wants to present and does so simply by connecting a laptop to the next available HDMI cable. The image is now automatically displayed on the monitor. Nobody picked up a remote control or pressed a button. Somebody else just connected their laptop. Device recognizes it automatically switches. 
Now, uh, presenter number three wants to share an image from her wireless device. She connects wirelessly to the Atlona switcher, and then her image is automatically also cast to the display. Very easy, works with both wired or wireless solutions. Now, presenter number three disconnects her wireless device, her image disappears, and the Atlona switch automatically presents the last connected source, which was presenter number two. And then when presenter number two disconnects from the HDMI cable, the Atlona switch automatically presents the last connected source, which was presenter number one. So it works in order up and down uh, through the uh, chain of inputs, or you can turn that off and you can manually switch however you like. But automatic input selection provides simple automation. And in the post-pandemic world, the people are concerned with touching devices, shared devices, shared surfaces, you can eliminate that by simply enabling automatic display control or automatic input selection. Now, another really cool solution is just to simply use an occupancy sensor. An occupancy sensor used in combination with an Atlona switcher's trigger input output port is a simple and effective way to automatically power the AV system on and off. So let's take a look at how, how this might work. All right, so here we've installed an occupancy sensor up in the corner of the room. When a person enters the room, they activate the sensor and this in turn will send a signal to the switch. The switch will now power on the display. Very simple. Uh, the occupancy sensor can also be used now to power down uh, the system in the same way. So when the room is empty, the occupancy sensor will sense no movement over a predetermined period of time and can communicate with the Atlona switch to send commands to power down the system. So occupancy center is a great easy way to provide, again, some touchless automation uh, uh, in these uh, rooms, whether they're uh, home use, you know, people work from home now or in these larger conference rooms. Now, any occupancy sensor, standard occupancy sensor will work if you're using any um, third-party non-Atlona products. There are several occupancy sensors out there that all work perfectly fine with the system. Uh, one thing I will share with you, uh, later um, this year, before Cedia, we will actually be announcing an Atlona-branded occupancy sensor that will be coming out. And I'm sure Gary will have that on the shelves for you guys as well. So if you want a simple to use occupancy sensor that works with the system, you can get an Atlona-branded one as well. All right, um, so now for many reasons, meeting and collaboration spaces, we know will require an advanced control solution. If you really wanna truly enable participants to be able to connect and to collaborate with simplicity in their meeting spaces. Now for this, Atlona is proud to offer Velocity. Now, Velocity is our AV control platform and it brings together a unique set of capabilities that result in easy system scalability plus a very low cost of ownership. Now, Velocity Control Solution does make it easier for anyone to operate AV technology in a meeting space. And for example, simply touch the power button on a control panel to turn the room on. This simple button touch can execute multiple commands to automate all types of features in a room. Simple drag and drop makes it easy for anyone to change sources. Uh, and even volume control is as easy as sliding a finger just like your end user does on their mobile device. Now with this, while this solution is truly simple, uh, it's easy to operate and elegate. The operator does still need to physically touch a touch panel to operate the system. So let's have a quick look at how we can actually use the solution in a touch-free application as well for, um, for the avoidance of shared surfaces in those public meeting spaces. So this solution, the Velocity Touch Free, is actually built in to the Velocity program. Velocity can actually generate and embed a QR code into a touch panel GUI, or you can print it and have it displayed in a room if you want. Uh, users can simply scan that QR code with their BYOD device, whether it's their Android or uh, Apple device, and they can take full control of the AV solution, the system, uh, this solution can actually be configured as open access or secure access, or even with the periodic link that changes to enable the level of access that's dictated by your client's application. So as you can see there in example, once you scan the QR code, uh, the controls for the room will actually load right on your device. You do not need to load any software onto that device. It opens up through a web GUI, and now that person has complete control 
of that room, set for the meeting time that, uh, of the room, set for one hour. They can extend that if they want to. You can even generate a brand new code. They could rescan if the meeting runs long and they want to take control again. So again, very simple way to offer touch-free solution for your customers there. And even, even in the best of times, meeting spaces for in-person collaboration can be tough to locate. Uh, rooms may be reserved in the scheduling application, maybe a company uh, uses, but that won't keep ad hoc collaboration teams from grabbing a room or a quick standing meeting and then they're not available for you. So as we get back to the office, room blocking is something that Lona has identified that really we believe will be more important for individuals and for teams, specifically working in safe, socially distant spaces. Now, built into the Velocity program is a room scheduling server uh, for use with our Velocity touch panels, and it is compatible with Google Workspace, with Microsoft Office 365, with Microsoft Exchange 2016, and with Astra Scheduler, which is a popular scheduling program that you'll find in education institutions. Uh, Velocity scheduling capability can be used alongside AV in a control room, or it can be used as a standalone touch panel installation. So you can literally mount a, a panel on the outside of a room so someone can see it for scheduling. They can interact with it, schedule the room from there. Then inside the room, you can have a second velocity touch panel that controls all of the AV in the room as well. You can even have a touch panel in the room. So really simple solution. And you can see from the example, um, the touch panels actually have LED lights around the outside of them uh, where they do glow uh, the color uh, of uh, the room, green meaning uh, it's open, red meaning uh, there's a meeting already in progress, etc. All right, um, so now let's address USB. Uh, so USB is really become a key component of today's modern business uh, space. And there are several versions of USB that exist today. And that makes it easy to get confused about which one you need. So let's review some of the USB formats that are out there. First, you have USB 2.0. <clears throat> this one's been around for several years and it's the most common version that we see on products today. You've got USB 3.0. This is newer uh, with faster transfer speed and most new devices for sale in the market today will support USB 3.0. And then we're even seeing USB 3.1, uh, which is the newest firmware update with very fast transfer speed, not yet as common on consumer products, uh, used for high-end applications where you really are transferring large amounts of data at ultra fast speeds. So something to watch for, US 3.1, that's what we're starting to see more and more of. Now, when you're building an AV system with USB functionality, it's important to start at the host. Now the host will be the USB type B port. And this is where you will connect your source device, such as your computer. Next, you wanna look at your USB source device uh, like newer laptops will use, which is the USB-C type connector. And this port can be used to transmit audio, video, and data. And in some instances, power too, meaning you can actually uh, plug your laptop in during a presentation and it will charge your laptop. You will not need to have the wall plug also. The laptop's actually powered over that USB-C connection where it transmits the audio, video, and data. Then you've got the USB mini connector. It's often found on HD base T extenders and endpoints and used to update firmware on Atlona devices. And finally, the USB micro connector, which is often found in many types of peripherals, including things like touch panels or even tabletop devices like microphones and speakers or speaker phones. All right, so now we've got a little better understanding of the USB connector types and their function. So let's take a look at how USB hubs are used inside of the Atlona products. So many, if not most of our uh, Atlona solutions will feature USB hubs for peripheral devices and for host computers. Now, this is really what we believe in is an essential feature in a unified communication or a collaboration solution, such as soft code at conferencing, where you're using applications like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Skype, BlueJeans, WebEx, GoToMeeting, and honestly, uh, dozens of others that are out there now today. Now with a USB hub, a presenter can make a host connection and communicate then with all other USB peripherals that are already connected to the system. And when a second presenter also makes a host connection, that connection too will have access to all of the other USB peripherals that are also 
connected to the system. And when a switch is made from one source to the other, the USB connections will switch along with the AV signal, making for a truly collaborative unified solution. You see why I say this is essential in these modern spaces today where you're doing video conferencing and you've got, um, you know, you're using a shared camera and speakerphone inside of a room and you're switching between presenters' computers, uh, you've got to be able to have control of those USB devices. So by having a hub built into the switches, it allows each presenter to be able to communicate with the USB devices when it's their turn to present. Now, last year, Lona expanded our camera line from one model to three. Now, the HDBS camera family from Lona are PTZ. These are professional quality PTZ cameras that are specifically designed for video conferencing, for lecture capture, for streaming, and for distance learning applications. And while the original Lona PTZ camera supported USB applications, the two new models now allow for HDMI and HD based outputs to support more camera applications. <clears throat> the new models add versatility for lecture capture, live streaming and distance learning while expanding application possibilities into lecture halls, courtrooms, houses of worship, work from home solutions and so much more. So today, as I mentioned, Alona offers three PTZ Z cameras and these include the HDVS CAM-HDMI which features an HDMI output, as well as a USB 2.0 interface for video and for camera control. Now, simultaneous video output is available over both interfaces with video resolutions up to 1080p at 60 hertz over the HDMI output and 1080p at 30 hertz over the USB 2.0 output. Then you've got the HDVS cam hd T which features an HD base T output for extending video power and camera control over distances up to 330 feet, that's 100 meters, with video resolutions up to 1080p at 60 hertz. So if you're working in a solution, particularly something like a large conference room or even a um, education environment, a big classroom, and you've got to run a camera kind of a longer distance and, my, and remember these have an incredible zoom range on them, um, use the HD base T cam because you can go 330 feet at 1080p at 60 hertz. It's a great, great camera. Uh, and finally, the original HDVS cam, which was the first one in our lineup, which features a USB interface for video and camera control and video resolutions up to 1080p at 30 hertz. Now, so now we've reviewed several technologies that help us enable touch free and low touch solutions. So in the second half of this presentation, my goal is to convey the experience a person would have when using a meeting space that's outfitted with these Atlona AV products and solutions, which use the touch free and low touch technology that we just discussed. So to do, to do that, what we need to do is define several meeting spaces and their intended use. So for the purpose of this presentation, we'll look at four types of these meeting spaces. And they'll include uh, the smaller huddle space, which also works as uh, the work from home solution, uh, collaboration spaces, active learning classrooms, and the BYOD, which is our wireless presentation solution. So let's begin with the huddle space. Now in this room, technology really should be the easiest. Now a user should not have to fumble to turn on the room uh, to use the technology in order to communicate. And when a participant walks into a huddle room or their home office, they should see a display, a USB video camera, USB speakerphone, and the appropriate connection cable. So to get this room up and running, the participant simply connects their laptop to the AV and the USB cables that are already there at the table. Now, this is a low touch solution as some interaction is needed to connect your personal device to the room. You're touching the cables. But from here, the Alona switch will immediately recognize the presence of a live signal, will automatically prepare the system for use by powering on the display and establishing connections between the laptop and the USB devices in the room, such as the camera and the speakerphone. Now, turning off the room is just as easy for the participant. They will simply disconnect the AV and USB cables from their laptop. Then after a predetermined time limit of no signal activity, the Atlona system will power down the room and the devices. Very easy to do there. Now, this particular huddle room uh, solution was built using a product from Atlona called the Omega MH 
MH21, part of the Omega family line. So the MH21 is a two input, one output switcher with HDMI and USB-C inputs. It has an HDMI output and it has that built-in USB hub that we talked about earlier. Add to this an HDVS camera and a speakerphone or a sound bar, and you can take advantage of the ability to switch between two host PCs. The MH21 and the USB-based HDVS camera are ideal for soft codec and web-based conferencing applications in small huddle rooms, and can also be integrated with a touch-enabled display if needed. All right, so now let's look at something a little more complicated, uh, a collaboration space. Now in a collaboration space, it's important to be able to communicate effectively with others who are in the room and just as important to interact with other participants who are now outside the room. So an alone collaboration solution will take advantage of the touch-free automatic display control and automatic input selection features, AIS and ADC, that we discussed earlier but will really enable true collaboration when combined with the velocity control solution utilizing the key, uh, a QR code feature that we also looked at. Now, in a video conference application, you will have a laptop or a computer source of some kind, likely with the soft codec conferencing uh, software, such as Zoom, Teams, Skype, etc. cetera. Uh, now, these applications will also need to communicate with USB peripheral devices in the room, such as the camera, speakers, microphone, and more. Switchers and receivers from Atlona, such as the Omega series of products, will utilize HD based T technology to pass these signals around the room, allowing for collaboration between all of the devices, plus the presenters and the additional participants. So this type of solution was built again with the Omega family of products, this time using a product called the MS24. Now the MS24 is a four input two output matrix switcher and an HD base T transmitter with HDMI, display port and USB-C inputs. And it has mirrored HDMI and HD base T outputs. Now it's, uh, this is perfect for video conferencing applications with built-in USB interfacing and extension over to the display. Very cost-effective, very simple solution. In fact, probably our most sold combination of product right here. Okay, now let's look at uh, something a little more advanced because we're gonna add wireless into this. And here we'll use the uh, BYOD space uh, to describe this. So the Atlona BYOD room has native wireless AV casting, allowing for multiple laptops and other devices to be connected and displayed. No app required to download in order to connect wirelessly. So this allows presenters to mirror content from their personal iOS, Android, Mac, Chromebook, Windows device over Wi-Fi without the need to install an app on their device. Very important, very easy this way. Plus a welcome screen on the display, which provides instructions on how to connect your device when you walk into the room, all without ever touching a shared surface. Now, additionally, multiple outputs offer the flexibility for more than just a single device to be displayed in the room. This includes the use of handheld mobile devices too. Dual screens, dual outputs here, allow for video conferencing cameras on one display and content sharing on the other. Multiple USB peripheral devices, including speakerphone and a PTZ camera to easily capture all the participants in a room. And a moderator can switch between multiple presenters and the entire room can even be automated via the velocity control system and of course, uh, the solution is completely configurable as a touch-free solution with a simple scan of a QR code from your mobile device as well. Now, this particular solution was again built with our Omega line of products, uh, and this product is called the MS-52. Now, the MS-52 is a five-input, two-output matrix switcher. It looks like the 42 that we saw on the last slide, but this adds a fifth input, which is the wireless to it. So uh, this has HDMI, USB-C, DisplayPort, and the wireless AV inputs, plus still has the dual outputs of HDMI and HD base T. All right, and one last solution to look at here is in an active learning classroom. If you find yourself bidding out this kind of job, it's great to have a solution that works uh, in these multi-use classrooms that we're seeing today. 
So the active learning classroom uh, solutions will incorporate switchers that can install below each, pardon me, each student pod uh, and the instructor station too. Uh, automatic display control, which we talked about earlier, can be enabled for a low touch solution at each one of these student stations. Plus, this system is designed to meet today's latest technology because these solutions support resolutions up to 4K60, 444, and include USB-C, HD-Base-T, and HDMI inputs. Now, each switcher provides dual outputs, which allows us to accommodate a local display at the student station via HDMI and another locator further away back at the instructor station. So that's how we get a feedback to the main switch so a teacher can share that up on the main screen. Now, our velocity control solution allows the instructor to easily show any of the students' work to the entire classroom with a simple touch of the button. And of course, automatic switching and automatic display control make user operation touch-free and effortless. And you can even connect the system to a touch display for greater interaction with the presenter's laptop. And this solution to you is configurable as a touch-free solution with a simple scan of a QR code from a mobile device. And this solution here was built using the flagship product in the Omega family called the PS62. Now the PS62 is a six input, two output matrix presentation switcher with HDMI, USB-C and HD-based inputs. Plus it's got the dual output like we saw earlier of both HDMI and HD base T giving us two big screens that we can have displayed off of this device. Okay, so we looked at uh, some of the Omega solutions and some of the technology that drives those. Now I wanted to share with you this new product that we've launched here. Uh, this is the uh, Alona Wireless Audio Visual Environment. That's WAVE for short, Wireless Audio Video Environment. Uh, and the product is actually called the Wave-101. It's the model number for it. And it is a wireless presentation system designed for quick and easy content sharing for up to four PCs or mobile devices. The Wave 101 is designed for effortless content sharing from iOS, from Android, from Mac, Chromebook, or Windows devices. Now the Wave 101 is more than a presentation system because it's equipped with a host of convenience features, ideal for education and other applications making it vers a versatile media device for live streaming broadcasts, for digital signage, for audio playback, and for so much more. The Wave 101 will allow you to play stored images as well as videos up to 4K, uh, a great feature for instructors to share multimedia content with students. You can also play content available on YouTube. Uh, you can even use YouTube live streaming to deliver live instruction and presentations to support remote participants. And this capability is even ideal for education and training applications and also allows content to be delivered into things like overflow rooms. The Wave 101 can also serve as a digital science player, integrates with cloud-based platforms such as Dackboard, if you're familiar with that one, they're a great solution. And this enables simple deployment without the need for a complete digital signage system. The Wave 101 also allows for up to four people to share content from their device simultaneously. It's a great complement to the increasing trend of providing open gathering areas where colleagues or students can use informal meetings or collaborations. And the 101 also allows multiple students to share their screens with the instructor controlling the presentation through a specially designed moderator mode specifically for the instructor. Now the, the device can also be used to enhance instruction with local media or YouTube content playback and reach out to remote students by live stream over YouTube. Use Facebook too. Uh, for new installations, the Wave 101 uh, and a display can provide a simple yet efficient AV integration solution for presenters to share right from their mobile devices. So for existing AV systems, the Wave 101 offers an ideal upgrade to op uh, as it's a deal as an upgrade opportunity to add wireless AV and many other capabilities such as digital signage playback. So if your customers already have an AV solution but don't have wireless, this is a real nice simple way to add on to an existing system and introduce wireless to their solution. And the Wave 101 is great for a basic setup with a display. It's equally ideal as an upgrade to a new or existing AV system and for adding wireless BYOD to many other presentation capabilities. The Wave is available for pre-order now 
with an MSRP of $950. There you see it there. It's actually very small, about the width of uh, your cell phone, about twice as thick, and it's square. So nice and small, easily fits behind the display if you're mounting it there. All right, with that, Gary, let me uh, turn it back over to you. And if we have any questions, I'd love to take those from the audience members now. Yeah, we're clear right now, um, but I yeah, urge you, uh, maybe Brad and, and your team might have some questions or you want to uh, bring up anything with the Alona family, please do, uh, Adam as well. Um, but yeah, a great presentation, especially uh, that Wave product. That looks, that looks awesome, man. Yeah, one of the things I wish we had a, a live demo of the Wave here right now, but uh, when, you, when you turn the Wave on, you know, it's got a, a web GUI interface to it uh, that's real easy to get to, and uh, it allows for you to have um, advanced control where, you know, an integrator can go in and, and really tweak what you want to do with the Wave device, or you can just have an instructor view, which, uh, so if it's being used in a conference room or a classroom, uh, somebody who is the meeting host or instructor uh, has the ability to control who is casting to the screen and be able to allow them to present or kick them off or change different attributes, share images, again, share YouTube content if you want as well. And the Wave uses uh, a dynamic feature that's built by Lona engineers uh, for scaling images as they get presented on the screen. So Typically what you see with wireless, let's say, you know, uh, three, two people are, are casting. One's casting in 16 by nine while the other person's casting in portrait. Right. Usually what happens is uh, a device will split the screen and give 50, 50 to each person. The a wave software actually analyzes the resolution and the aspect ratio of the image coming in and proportions the screen dynamically to give the maximum uh, visual space to each of the, uh, the devices that are casting. So it's actually very cool. And nobody else is, is doing that the way at Lona is. That's a pretty slick feature. Wow, awesome. Um, yeah, guys, we're, uh, we're clear on questions. Um, stay on board here for another couple of minutes uh, or else we'll cut you guys loose and, and, and get to your remainder of your day. But I have the slide deck. I will get everything back out to you guys, to your teams. Um, yeah, like I said, we've got stock. Uh, and when you met, just mentioned the Wave product there, I saw shipping in June. What is that in the next few weeks? What do you have any other clarification on when that timeline is? Yeah, actually, I believe the product's um, shipping now. Um, actually, when I, I think when we started putting this together, when you and I were talking, we weren't quite this far into June yet. So I wrote June in there. Uh, but yeah, that product's already available. Uh, we can take put, put orders in for that now. I'll make sure, I'll make sure that there's a wave link to uh, all, all the Snap AV locals. All right, guys, um, leave it open for a couple of minutes. Uh, Ken, thank you so much. Um, we're going to do this again a little bit later on this afternoon. So please I'll pass it to your team. Get anybody else on board so we can uh, have another afternoon discussion uh, about it. Lona, uh, this is awesome product. We're now we're entering in our probably our second year with you guys. Um, and it's been such a front runner with HDMI distribution and a number of other things. Ken, uh, just love the product. So and great feedback from the dealers as well. So. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks, Gary. You know, and my contact information is right there along with our inside sales team. So, you know, if you think of a question later or something hits you up, feel free to, uh, you know, shoot an email out anytime. Exactly. All right. Well, that's got to be one of the shorter ones that we've ever done, but uh, I know you guys are busy, so I don't mind cutting you guys loose and getting back to your day. Uh, Ken and I will be back at, what is that? Uh, it'll be 1 p.m. West Coast, 4 p.m. East Coast. Do this discussion again. Um, but in the meantime, I, from all of us at the Snap AV Locals, thank you so much, Ken. It's certainly a pleasure. Um, we'll get a recording back out to you guys and a whole uh, wrap-up email, follow-up email on Friday morning from all of us at the marketing team for the Snap AV Locals. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys again so much. We'll see you a little bit later on this afternoon. Look in your inbox on Friday. And as always, thank you so much from the Snap AV Locals. That's MRI. That's Custom Plus. That is, uh, did I miss one? That is uh, Volutone, of course, and Allnet. Uh, we are expanding. We are constantly uh, here for you. And only here can you have uh, such 30 third party brands as we have, uh, which are simply awesome. Solutions that we can come up with on the counters is, uh, uh, you, really, you really can't touch us right now. So we're really proud to have your business and uh, be safe out there. Look for my trainings, look for my events. Hey, I've got an event next week, uh, kind of a special uh, celebration, if you will. Check the event section. Come on into the stores. We're feeding you lunch. All right, guys. Ken, thank you so much for your time. We'll see you a little bit later on this afternoon. Be safe Thank out there, you. everybody. Thanks. See you later.